we're at a lookout, it's called Pukitaraki Lookout and ko, uh, Kora Kotene. Uh, so this is interesting because there's a beach down in Karitani there called Back Beach, but it's got another name, hasn't it, Korako? It sure does. So, uh, ko te ikoa tuturu o, o tera tatahi ko Whakawai Pakake. So the, the traditional name of the beach behind us is Whakawai Pakake, uh, which includes that term Pakake, uh, which is, refers to the sea line. So we think, um, based on our Matauraka Māori, our, our traditional knowledge, that, that that beach probably was home to a large number of uh, sea lions at some point and is still visited today by sea lions. Kapai. So now, Koraka, you do a, a lot of a variety of work uh, related to the environment, um, but you've had some specific involvement with Pakake. Tell us about that and some of your earlier interactions as a youngster. Sure thing. So, um, yeah, at this beach just behind us, Whakawai Pakake, uh, when I was, I think it was my ninth, ninth birthday, I was out um, having a, a lollop or a swim in the, in the ocean there, and I, I turned around and about Two or three metres from me, there was a whakahau, a large male sea lion, staring right back at me, and it, it gave me a, a very big fright at the time. <laughs> but um, but uh, now that I look back on that time, I realise he really wasn't too bothered by me being there. But it seemed to have a bit of an impact because you've gone on to do some real close-up work with Pakake. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose that's maybe where it began for me. Um, so uh, a few years ago, when I was at the end of my high school, um, I got involved in some sea lion pup tagging with the local Department of Conservation ranger um, Jim Fife. So he invited me out and we went and um, did some sea lion pup tagging which is, um, may have been talked about um, in this series but essentially where I'm trying to tag sea lion pups so that we can keep an ID on them and sort of identify who they are and who their mothers are and what, what their sort of genealogy is. So that was one of my first times getting up close and personal and I, I'll definitely say it was uh, yeah, a bit nerve-wracking in the beginning getting that close to these big creatures but um, but everything was safe and, and, and nothing happened and, and then continuing on from that just, just this year I was fortunate to be able to go to Rakiura or Stewart Island and spend 10 days there out searching around the, the bush and the, the hills there for, for more sea lion pups and their their mothers with the purpose of trying to tag them and understand um, what the population is doing in, in Rakiura, which is very important to our mainland population here where um, those populations down uh, in Rakiura come up here and, and, and sort of strengthen the population here on the mainland and our beaches that we see in this part of the South Island. What does it mean to you to play a part and have a role in helping manage that species? Increasing the amount of habitat that's available and safe for species like our pakake, it really means a lot to me. I think about earlier this year I was doing, uh, I was learning to do my dive certificate and I was swimming around at Aramoana with um, some pakake and I, I sort of came to realise as I saw them moving around in that ocean and, and moving really gracefully and, and fluid in the water that, that I was actually in their home, they weren't in mine. And so being able to do things that make the area safe, that create habitat that, um, where they like to have their pups and feel secure uh, really mean, means a lot uh, to me and I think it's about trying to put them, them first and realise that you know, they have a place here on, on the mainland too. And not just pakake, you know, when we think about them obviously in the environment, but, but broadly speaking across the whole too, there's, mm. there's lots of opportunities for everybody to play a part and contribute. Uh, to the well-being of, of species and their environment, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We need more young people doing it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I suppose within the mahi that I do, you know, there's um, uh, not a whole lot of people perhaps who are involved in the specific type of work I do and that interface between um, sort of te ao Māori and, and environmental science or ecology. So it would uh, be really great to see more young people getting involved in, in that type of mahi and, and if, if that's what interests them. Kia ora.